reconciliation of cost and financial accounts. In business concern where non-integrated accounting system is followed, cost and financial accounts are maintained separately. The difference between the end results of these two are required to be reconciled. When cost accounts and financial accounts are separately maintained in two different sets of books, two profit and loss accounts will be prepared, one for costing books and the other for financial books. The profit or loss shown by costing books may not agree with that shown by financial books. Therefore, it becomes necessary that profit or loss shown by two sets of accounts is reconciled. Let us know the meaning of reconciliation. Reconciliation of cost and financial accounts means tallying the profit or loss revealed by both set of accounts. The main aim is to find out the reasons for difference between the results or the profits shown by the cost accounts and financial accounts. Now let us know the need, need for reconciliation, need for reconciliation. Reconciliation reveals the reasons for difference in profit or loss between cost and financial accounts. As I already mentioned you that there is as it is a non-integrated when the business concern maintains non-integrated accounts there are chances of having a difference in profits between uh, the cost accounting as well as financial accounts. So uh, there is a need, there is a need for reconciliation then it helps in checking the arithmetical accuracy of costing data then to enable the smooth cooperation and coordination between the activities of cost and financial accounting departments reasons for disagreement in profit or loss the various reasons which create difference between cost and financial profit or loss is as follows First one is items shown only in financial accounts. Some items of income and expenses which are included only in financial accounts but are not shown in cost accounts and vice versa. Such as profit on sale of fixed assets, interest received on investments, dividend received on investments, rent, brokerage and commission received premium on issue of shares, transfer fees received, all these are incomes. There are financial expenses, purely financial expenses such as loss on sale of fixed assets, interest paid, discount paid, dividend paid, losses due to scrapping of plant and machinery, penalties and fines, expenses of shares, transfer fees, preliminary expenses written off, damages payable at law etc second one is items shown only in cost accounts there are some items which are recorded only in cost accounts but are not included in financial accounts notional interest on capital notional rent of uh, premises owned salary to proprietor etc are not recorded in financial account because the amount is not actually spent or paid. These expenses reduced, reduces the profits in cost accounts while in financial account it may, may be the reverse effect. The third reason is absorption of overhead. In financial accounts actual amount of expenses paid are recorded while in cost accounts overheads are charged at predetermined rates. If the overhead charge are not equal to the amount of overhead incurred, the under or over absorption of overhead leads to difference in profits of two accounts. The fourth reason is stock valuation. The term stock refers to opening or closing stock of raw materials, work in progress and finished goods. In financial accounts, stocks are valued at cost price or market price, whichever is lower. 
In cost accounts, stock of raw materials can be valued on the basis of FIFO, LIFO and simple average method etc. And work in progress may be valued at prime cost or works cost. Finished stocks are generally valued on the basis of cost of production. Thus the adaptation of different methods of valuation of stock leads to difference in profits of two sets of accounts. The another reason is different charges for depreciation. That is there are chances where depreciation will be recorded differently in two different books that is in cost accounts as well as in financial account that may lead to difference in profit. The last reason behind this uh, reconciliation the behind this difference is abnormal loss and gains. Different items of our abnormal wastages, losses or gains which are included in financial accounts but are not recorded in cost accounts. Thus the figures of abnormal losses and gains may affect the results in financial accounts alone. Steps Steps in preparation of reconciliation statement. There are few steps to be followed while preparing the reconciliation statement. The first step is we have to start with profit or loss shown by any one set of accounts as the base that is we need to take either profit or loss as per the cost accounts or as per the financial accounts. Then next what we are supposed to do is we have to find out the reason for difference in profit between the cost and financial accounts. As we know the reasons why there might be a differences we have to analyze that each and every expenses we have to analyze and find out the difference. Then determine the addition or subtraction of items so what the whatever the expenses or incomes whether we need to add or subtract we have to determine that then finally we need to prepare the cost uh, cost reconciliation statement thank you for watching